All right. I'm not exactly sure why my last video cut off like right in the middle of a of a sentence, but anyways, I'm going to go on. So this I guess would be part 2. Anyway, so, you know, those of you who just <clears throat> saw my last video, I was being shown different areas of society that were getting ready to change. So, again, I think the first was like <clears throat> clothes, then the next was like, you know, food and exercise. I think the next was marriage. And then the third, it was in the, the medical field. And I was shocked because I saw things being done that I was just like, whoa, you know, what is going on? But I still said, well, I mean, it's still not bad. I mean, the government helping with the medical, you know, maybe people need it. You know, maybe there's some situation going on that they have to get involved. Well, each area, the government started taking over. I mean, and they took over, you know, the, again, clothing they were affecting the clothing then they were affecting food and then they were affecting exercise then they were affecting areas of of health then they were affecting um marriage they, they were making decisions on the definition of marriage then they were going to another uh area in the medical and they were starting to take over the medical well the next area was education and and this is the the trc the same thing it's 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 all happening for our eyes but see i didn't see it in the dream, I'd always say, well, it's not that bad. It's not bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought, well, in the end times, I mean, you know, these are all good things. They were all good things. Every one of them weren't bad, horrible, terrible things. The problem was, is it was a, it was a takeover one by one. Start out really innocent. Kept going a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. So pretty soon it got to education. Well, education, understand, is that is what someone's being taught, right? Information, and information is, is the game right here. It's, it's, a, it's a war of information. Is it the information that we receive from good, right, truth, the word of God, the faith of our fathers, the love of God, the, the mercy of God, the goodness of God, what God has planned for us, was that what it was? Or was it something else, okay? So anyways, so this is where the alarm came in, okay? So be aware of this, okay? So after all those areas, I basically concluded, you know what? It's not as bad in the, the time toward, you know what I mean? The, the, the days of the last that I thought it wasn't as bad as I thought. But then I saw this. Then I saw these people and they were all, there was about seven of them. And they were all around this girl. And they were forcing her to, she couldn't go into the classroom unless they gave her an identification badge. And I'm telling you, when I saw that, I thought to myself, why are they trying to force her though? It's not a big deal. I mean, you put a little vanier around your neck or something, or you get a little ID card. I mean, why would that be a big deal? But she was crying, saying, no, no, please, no, no. And I didn't understand it. But why also was there, there was an education leader, there was this person, there was that. It looked like, it looked like the government was surrounding her. Like there was like seven different people. They were adults. She was a young child. She had no idea what to do. And I realized what God was saying. This young child has no idea about reality, about what's right and wrong. We as the parents are supposed to tell them what is good, what is evil, what is right, what is wrong? You know, it's not they decide when they're young, you know, I think I want to do this or be that or be that when, when you know, if they want to, you know, have sex with a monk, you know, I mean, you just, that's something that you, you say, no, that there's, you know, that's wrong. You know, there's right and there's wrong. And so laws were established a long time ago to keep men healthy, to keep us protected, you know, Covered in the blood of the lamb. That's what the back of this thing says. It's so awesome. See, can you see it? See, I wasn't making it up. It's right there. It's on my label. It's on the, the back. If you saw my last video about the label on the back of my uh, cow, you have to check that out. So anyways, so, so this is where it got. So when I watched this, I thought, well, why are so many adults trying to affect this little child? And all of a sudden, I felt like a heat on my, it was my left side. Okay, it was my left hand. It was my left side. If you remember my my uh, W House dream that I was at the table with the Kong and the Senator and and you know men and I see I don't know what you know how this all comes about. So you have to 
You know, it's crazy. Why have to do this? Why can't I just share the truth? You know, and let the truth stand by itself. If it's true, let it stand, you know. And that's what some of these people don't understand is they don't want what they're going to get. They think they've got some great new world and this new order and this wonderful thing. And they don't realize that it's the dragon behind the scenes that he's getting ready to devour. And that's what happened. This, I felt this heat on the back of my neck and there was this dragon with big old fangs. It looked like Jurassic Park exactly when he was hiding in the movie Jurassic Park when he was hiding behind this truck and, and, and he was right there. It was, even in the movie, it was on his left side and this beast and, and it had fangs hanging down and it was dripping the stuff or whatever like that. And I went, see, all five areas that I saw change, it was like, well, it wasn't as bad as I thought. If the end times are going to be horrible, this wasn't horrible. But it was the when it was the education that's when I started recognizing something was wrong. I was compromising. See, I compromised on the, the clothes. I compromised on the food. I compromised when it, you know, hit the marriage. I compromised when it hit uh, the, uh, um, the, the medical, you know. But when it hit the education, I realized something was up. And what it is is God's saying, look, they're trying to steal your identification. So you're either identified in Adam or or in the second Adam, the Lord Jesus Christ. You're, you're identified in salvation. You're identified in the blood of Jesus. Now, some people are like, well, I know, but I don't even believe in Jesus. My friend, whether you do or not, let me just tell you something, okay? You don't understand that God put in his word years ago something that the enemy would do, and you're looking at the very beginning stages of it, and you don't even recognize it. If you could recognize it, then... You see, you didn't see the beast that was breathing down my neck and the fangs. And what the beast is a world system that's out of control. And the more you feed it, the more you feed it, the more it's going to grow and the stronger it's going to get and the, 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 the fangs. And pretty soon they're going to control everything. And my friends, see, we compromise in every little bit, at a little at a time. It's just the frog in the kettle. You just, a little bit of heat, a little bit of heat. A little bit of heat, a little bit of heat. It doesn't know it's boiling to death. My friend, you are boiling to death. We all are. We don't realize it. If we don't take a stand now, this beast is going to take over. The dragon, C-H, you know, N-A, is going to take over the world because they don't know the word of God. They don't know the love of God. They don't know the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't know the cross. They understand that Jesus came to die for every single person from C-H-I-N, every person from R-U-S, every person from I-N-D, every person from M-E-X, every person. The book of Revelation says people from every tribe, tongue, and nations. These were the waters that, that were seen, okay, was every person from every language, every tribe, every tongue, every nation. They became sheep nations where they followed the Lamb. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. See, this is revelation from the Holy Spirit revealing the end times. But the beast, my friend, it's going to bite. The beast, my friend, it's going to take over. And you've got to pray against it. We have to stand against it this time. It's not going to be just bad for you. Oh my gosh, no. It's going to be bad for everybody. And my friend, go back to the constitution that God gave you. Go back to the laws of the land that God gave us. Go back to the heart and the love of God and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go back to John 3.16. Simply look. My friend, look, we're talking eternal life. We're talking about a Savior that made you, that loves you, that the Holy Spirit is trying to direct you to truth, to reality, to break you out of this false consciousness, to break you out of this beast system that they're trying to set up. Because I'm telling you, you won't be able to buy, you won't be able to sell. Well, it's a wonderful system as long as Jesus Christ is over it because he loves okay but if you've got a, a a beast over a system and he doesn't like you you can't buy you can't sell until you're marked like a dog like tag like an animal until you're chipped and in that chip at this moment you know the vaccine you just choose okay I mean that's that everybody that has free that's free choice okay if you choose to or not, it's your choice, free choice. But when government controls everything, you won't have a choice anymore. And even those that think that it's gonna, the Bible says, while they promise them liberty, they themselves are servants of corruption. When this system is set up in such a way, even those that originally set it up will not be able to stop it. It will be a beast out of control. At this moment right now, if we do what God said, 
I just gave a, a, a teaching. If you'll listen and you'll understand it, there's a revelation. Okay, it, it's it's. Uh, let me. I'm trying to get it here. I, it's it's S U T O P fifty four. If you guys can understand the code, it'll help you. But I'm telling you, if uh, Abraham, I just looked at look at my last video or whatever. Abraham is if I find fifty righteous, God says I'll spare everything. And then the next one was, if I find 54 back in place where I called him to be, to do what I called him to do, I'll spare America. I'll spare your constitution. I'll, God says, I'll spare everything. But you've got to get 54 back in place. All right. God bless. I'm praying that God gets this on. And this is not just to help the church. It's not just to help the body of Christ. It's not just to help the billion youth army in the end times and things like that happen. When I read Rick Turner's book, God audibly spoke to me and told me these things are going to happen. It's to help everyone involved right now. Because if you set this thing up in the time, everyone's going to suffer. But right now, if you open up your eyes, right now you start loving God and loving your neighbors yourself. I mean, I mean, um, uh, African American and 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 caucasian caucasian african-american uh jewish we we do love one another love 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 if we love one another then this thing's going to turn around because we're going to choose the love over all this other stuff because eventually this stuff's going to control everybody and you're not going to want it i'm telling you even those that set it up are going to be mourning they're going to be weeping that, that they even were involved if we at this moment go back to truth righteousness goodness faith, hope, love. We quit cussing out one another. We keep beating up one another. We, we stop this war and we humbly go before our God. And I'm going to end with this scripture. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then God says, I will hear from heaven and I will heal your land. God wants to heal you, your family, your children, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your uncle, people that are republic, people that are democrat, people that are, you know, independent, people that are from every nation under heaven. God wants to heal you, restore you, help you, encourage you. But right now, this system of the B-E-A-S-T on the L-E-F side if we don't humble ourselves like in my dream about the White House and see the prophecies for America, see blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, see that we're the land of the free and the home of the brave, see that God established us with a constitution with our forefathers, that they prayed, they were praying people that wanted freedom. This is the last chance, the last hope of freedom in the world, my friend. I don't care what side you're on. If you choose love, this whole thing will come crumbling down. The tunnels will come crumbling down. The system will come crumbling. And what will be left is what God wants to remain. God says, I will shake everything that can be shaken, that the foundation that I originally laid, the way I set things up, that it'll work right, will remain. Pray, my friend. Pray, pray as never before. Go to God as never before. If you've never called on Jesus, just ask Jesus. Just say, Jesus, I need you in my life. And I'm telling you, my friend, he'll come in. He'll wipe away the tears. He'll help you. He'll encourage you. He'll strengthen you. Jesus loves you, my friend. He is the Son of God. God, allow me to take just a little, a partake of the, the little taste of the latter rain. It was so amazing. It was so beautiful. Oh, my God, it was so amazing. If you just ask God if he could, you could feel his presence right now, you would feel it as I'm speaking right now. He confirmed my words to you. He literally let me taste of the glory in the future that he wants for every man, woman, child, boy, and girl on the earth. And then God opened up a door. And when I walked through the door, I saw all these people that I had the chance to speak to. And I was able to speak freedom, hope, faith, and love, and the goodness of God. And I said these very words, and I'll end with this. Jesus is the Son of God, and Jesus Christ is coming back. My friend, call on his name and you shall be saved. Seek the Lord as never before and you will be found of him and he will turn your captivity and he will bring you to an everlasting hope, everlasting life, everlasting joy, everlasting peace. Don't go this route, my friend. Don't get behind it. Take a stand and having done all, stand, 
Stand for God. Stand for your America. Stand for, for the Constitution. Stand for truth. Stand for the goodness and the love and mercy of God. Because if we don't at this time, we're going to lose what God had given us. And I'm telling you, my friend, you will be mourning if you allow this thing to come to pass. We can't let it on our watch. This is our watch. We need to pray this thing through and seek God. And if we do, he says, I will hear from heaven. He says, I will heal your land. Let's get 5-4 back to where they're supposed to be. And all this, all this stuff, things are going to turn around because God Almighty sees that we love him enough to do what he told us to do. All right, God bless, man.